Women's volleyball is fast gaining popularity in the Philippines and fans are flocking to watch the UAP volleyball games. This talented volleyball played for the Makati Science High School, passed the brain-wracking UP College admission test, tried out and got in the UP women's volleyball team. She won the Best Blocker Award in an intercollegiate tournament in Baguio, became a finals MVP in the Ateneo Open, and now, on her sophomore year, she is making waves as the queen blocker. Let's visit the crib of the reigning Best Blocker in the UAP Season 76, Kathy Bersola. Hi, Kathy. Hi. I'm Kathy of the UP Lady Maroons, and this is my home. So let's go in. Let's go. So now we're in my house, so let me show you around. And here you can see our living room. So back in high school, when I have friends over, um, we'd play Guitar Hero, because that's my favorite video game since grade school. Then on Sundays, my mom and I like watching movies together, because that's the night before I go back to the dorm. So this is our dining room, and we usually eat dinners together here. And But now in college, we barely do that because... Um, yeah, I only spend weekends here and sad. <laughs> Do you um, miss it? Yes, I really miss our complete family dinners. But now we're not complete because my sister is in the US. So we never get to have complete family dinners anymore. But it's still fine. So this is our kitchen, and yeah, that's my mom. She's cooking lunch right now. Pasta. Hello guys. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so what about you, Kathy? Do you do you cook? Um, I just bake when you know I have nothing to do. I really love chocolate and brownies. So oh. yeah, favorite of them and stuff. So over here we have our, my dad's mini bar. Yeah. Lots of wine from birthday gifts back when my dad turned 50. Ha, I just spilled <laughs> your age. <laughs> but I don't drink, guys, I don't drink. <laughs> Kathy, how long have you been living here? It's such a lovely place. Around 11 years. So, childhood talaga is here. Yes. Um, your home is really cute. Uh, did you hire an interior designer? No, it was all my mom and dad's choices. Oh, nice. Forgot to show you guys the mini sitting area where we usually receive our guests when we have a lot of them. And you can see an aquarium here um, where we have angelfish. Angelfish. Why did you get angelfish? I really don't know. <laughs> But you get to feed them too sometimes. Back when I was a kid, but now I don't. It's not my chore anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> so, let's go upstairs. So, this is our family room. It's where I usually watch UAAP games on this TV. And you can see here trophies and medals. Some are mine, some are my brothers and my parents. So <laughs> that's my grade school graduation picture. Oh, cute. <laughs> I was fat back then. <laughs> um, I, I actually shared this room with my sister. That's her bed. But yeah, she's in the US. She's been there for almost four years now. So I have the room to myself. But usually it's empty because I'm only here on weekends. Yeah. And here's my mini library. Oh, so you like I'm to actually, read? Yeah, I'm really a bookworm. I've been interested with fiction and um, novels like uh, the Percy Jackson series since 
And the first, my favorite book here is Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Oh, Charlie. It's actually the first novel I ever read and finished back in grade school. And that was the book that got me interested in reading. So um, when you're here at home, what do you usually do? I usually s stay in my room and um, watch movies and TV series that I miss during the week. And I read a lot. Yeah. And eat a lot. <laughs> <laughs> shoe collection. I actually like shoes a lot. <laughs> yeah. I have really big feet. What's your size? 11 to 12. <laughs> wow, it, you do have big feet. Yes, big girl, big feet. <laughs> and here's my Taekwondo black belt. Just keep it there for inspiration because I don't get to practice Taekwondo anymore. Those are drumsticks. You play the drums? Yes. Cool. I'll show you later. They're upstairs. Awesome. I have a collection because a lot of people gave me drumsticks back in my 17th birthday. I oh, know, my 16th birthday. High school friends. How did you start playing volleyball? Actually, got inspired to play by my sister because when I was in grade school, she was in high school and she was part of the varsity team. Then I'd see her play because we were in the same school, so Immaculate Heart of Mary College. Um, and then I'd see how happy she was and then I asked her one day to show me how to play. So the first time I got to hold a volleyball was in third grade. I was eight years old, so all I could do then was volley. She inspired me and she helped me learn. So in fifth grade and in sixth grade, I played, uh, I, I trained with the varsity team in our school. And from then, I guess it went all uphill, wow. I hope. I can see that you're a very talented girl. You can do so many things. And you've tried so many sports. Why did you choose volleyball among all of them? Um, I guess first love ko talaga siya. Kasi, ano, basketball, taekwondo, ginawa ko sila kasi sobrang nakita kong interesting. Pero iba talaga yung first love, yung first time kong nakita si ate maglaro. Tapos, ayun, mas masaya rin siya, I guess, for me. Kasi team sport siya. Mm -hmm. This is where I work out kapag wala kaming training. Yeah. Konti pa lang yung bars. Actually, kay kuya sila. Regalo nila mommy dati kay kuya. Si kuya actually nagbe-build nito. Pero hindi naman niya ginagap. <laughs> so ano, ito yung music room namin. Kasi my dad's a music lover. He has a band and I used to have a band. But hindi naman used kasi hindi naman disband Pero, ayun, back in high school, we'd spend Saturdays here practicing and just jamming. But now in college, we don't get half the time. Tsaka hiwaya wala na rin kami. What's it like to have a daughter like Kathy? She's so talented, diba? Ang galing-galing niya. What can you say about her? Of course, we're so proud of her. Uh, it's really very, very... The feeling is amazing, you know, knowing that you have a daughter like her, na achiever, tapos, uh, she's, she's really good, ah, uh, uh, GC. And wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Kaya, I'm so proud of her, talaga. Kaya po, Dad. Pinapanood ko lahat ng laro niya, eh. Kasi, siyempre, eh. Moral support, tapos kahit sa out of town ng mga games, nandun kami para supportahan siya. Kuya, may message ko mo? Wala. <laughs> keep, up, keep up the good work. So, um, what is your message to those uh, young people who want to be a volleyball player like you? Kasi marami nag-idolize din sa'yo. Uh, ano lang, um, kung gusto mo talaga, 
kunin mo. Kung wag kang matakot, wag kang mahiya. Kung tingin mo kaya mo talagang gawin, try mo lang nang i-try. Magagawa mo rin 'yan. And ayun, just cliche pero just follow your dreams talaga and your heart. The UP Maroons middle hitter Catherine Adriel Bersola is the best blocker in this season's UAAP. Being able to take the challenges of an elite UP education while going through the rigors of training to represent the school is quite a feat. Kathy is definitely one of the volleyball players to watch in this coming years. Home court continues to inspire featuring athletes, sports personalities, their dreams, their passions, and their homes. This is Nicole Ramos. See you guys next week.